Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to continue working on our um, favorites viewer program. Now this program, all, all of the credit goes to the authors of Beginning Microsoft Visual Basic 2008 and they are Th Theron Willis and Brian Newsom. Now, this is a great book, um, I would recommend it for anybody who wants to learn Visual Basic and if they have an updated 2010 version then you may want to get that instead. So uh, I just want to say that to make sure they get full credit and I'm not taking any for this. So if you remember from the previous tutorial, we use this for each loop to add each of the favorites to our list view. So let's go ahead and run this and see if everything works. So here is our form. You can see it says my favorites and it's got our icon. And we've got the name which is Gmail and the URL. Um, it's going to have this really long URL um, which is basically to log me in uh, to my Gmail and then we have the new Boston and the URL is http colon slash slash www.thenewboston.com and then we have YouTube and it has our YouTube URL now based on what your favorites are um, this may look different and it will look different so let's say when you created your YouTube favorite you named it um, eggs. It would show eggs right here and then have the URL. And you can see that when we select this, it's going to select the sub item of that too. And so let's go ahead and close out of this. And now what we need to do is we need to set, the, set up the link label to open the website when they click on it. So we can do this by accessing the click event of our list. So let's click the lightning bolt right here and we'll go ahead and find click. So whenever they click on list favorites or one of the indexes on there, what we're going to do is we're going to set the text of our URL. So we'll do link URL dot text is going to be equal to visit. So we're just going to let it let them know that they can visit this website. And then we're going to add list favorites dot selected items dot item and zero and then we're just going to do dot text now unlike a normal list box um, you would think that if we access the item at index of zero it's always going to show us the first item in the in the uh, list uh, because you think that it goes 0, 1, 2 as it goes down but in reality it's 0 and then 1 and then 0 and then 1 and 0 and then 1 I believe that's the way it is correct me if I'm wrong so we're going to visit and the list favorites dot selected item items dot items at index of 0 and text so let's go ahead and run this and you can see that if I set, select Gmail says visit Gmail and then the new Boston click the new Boston and YouTube it shows YouTube so let's go ahead set this to one and let's see what happens let's see if I was right and it looks like we are getting an error we cannot access the index of one so let's just go ahead and change that back to zero so now what we need to do is we need to get rid of the link. So link URL dot links dot clear. So what this is going to do is it's going to get rid of the link, the link. So it just looks like a normal um, label. Now you may be wondering why we're going to do this. Well, what we need to do is separate visit from our link. Now we can do this by creating a label and a link um, label but we can also do this just by using the link uh, the link label. So we can type link URL dot links dot add so we're adding a link to this link URL and at index of 6 because we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Empty spaces count as a an index. So we're starting at the index of six 
um, which comes right after visit. So that's when the link is going to start. So visit is going to look, look like a normal label, and then the link is going to start after that. And so what we want to do is access list favorites dot selected items dot item at index of zero dot sub items at index of one and no wait we want to access item at index of zero and then dot text dot length so what this is going to do is it's going to start at index six and then the ending index is going to be the length of our selected item so it's going to go from this all the way to the end of that item and now for the next argument it's going to be the link data as object so it adds a link to the collection with information to associate with the link link so what we can do to actually add the link the link itself is we'll type list favorites dot selected item or items dot item at index of zero and then we want to access the sub item of that so sub items one dot text so what this is going to do is it's going to get the item um, that is the text of the sub items um, the first sub item so here we have um, the um, the main item right here and then we've got sub item URL which is the first one now we, if we had another sub item it would be two so it's going to take the text from that and it's going to use that as the length I mean the link and so you can see that the text right here is the link um, itself so when you use the text from this you're going to get a valid link and you can see it says visit the new Boston but when we click on it nothing happens and you can see here that this looks like a normal label and then we've got our link so what we want to do to make it um, open up our link once we click on it we're gonna have to click on this the link URL or link label one and we need to access the click event or the link clicked so whenever they click on the link what do we want to do well we want to type process it says pro provides access to local and remote processes and enables you to start and stop local system processes so we want to start a process and we want to start the web browser now this is going to vary depending on what your default web browser is so it's going to start your default browsers so we're going to use e which is the argument and it's a link li link label clicked event args so we're going to access the link in that so e dot link dot link data and it gets or sets the data associated with the link so it's going to open the data that is in that link so if we go ahead and run this I'm running out of time here we can click on the new Boston and when we visit the new Boston it opens up my Chrome browser right here and it brings us to the new Boston website 